Hey everyone, welcome back to Touch Trove, your daily tech destination where we break down the biggest stories in innovation, AI, and the future of computing. Now, if you thought Windows 11 was done evolving, think again. Because 2025 has quietly turned out to be one of the most transformative years for Microsoft's operating system, even without a so-called major update. That's right, on paper. The Windows 11 2025 update, also known as version 25H2, doesn't claim to bring new features, but behind the scenes, Microsoft has been dropping game-changing updates through monthly patches, features that make Windows smarter, more secure, and way more connected to the AI future we're all heading toward. And when you look at everything together, this isn't just another Windows 11 update. It's practically Windows 12 in disguise. So today, we're breaking down every major change, hidden AI upgrade, Copilot Plus exclusive, and secret tweak you might have missed in the Windows 11 2025 rollout. Let's get started. Under the hood, intelligent recovery and connected computing. Let's kick off with the features that power your PC behind the scenes, the kind that make a real difference when things go wrong. Microsoft has introduced a feature called Quick Machine Recovery, or QMR. This is like having a digital mechanic built into your system. If your computer ever fails to boot, QMR automatically connects to Microsoft servers, scans for a fix, downloads a targeted repair patch, and applies it, all on its own. It's fast, it's cloud-powered, and it cuts downtime to almost zero. For business users or content creators, this can be a lifesaver. Imagine your PC refusing to start right before a deadline, and within minutes, it repairs itself. That's what QMR does. And speaking of continuity, Microsoft also launched Cross-Device Resume. One of the most futuristic productivity features, yet. Let's say you're editing a Word or PowerPoint, file on your Android phone or iPhone through. OneDrive, the next time you log into your Windows 11 PC, it instantly notifies you to continue where you left off. It's like your workflow follows you across devices, seamlessly. Then there's Windows Backup, which now supports local network file transfers. This means you can move your data, settings, and files to a brand new PC directly. No cloud upload. No external drives, just a fast wireless connection between your devices. File Explorer evolves with AI. Now let's talk about File Explorer, one of the most used apps in Windows history, and one that's finally caught up to the AI era. Microsoft added something called AI Actions, and it's a total game changer. You can now right-click on an image and instantly perform intelligent tasks. For example, Remove background with one click using paint erase objects with AI. Through the Photos app, blur the background automatically, or even use Bing Visual Search to find similar items online. These options appear contextually, meaning Windows recognizes what kind of file you're working with and shows the best actions for it if you're a Microsoft 365 subscriber. There's even more power. Right-click on a document and you'll see Summarize with Copilot which generates a smart summary of the content without ever opening Word. And this is where semantic indexing comes in, one of the most underrated features in Windows. 11's history, it's AI-driven search that understands what you mean, not just what you type. You can type something. Like, find the PDF about tax returns from last week, and Windows will know exactly which file. You're referring to, even if you don't remember the file name, it uses natural language and context recognition, powered by the same AI that runs Copilot. For now, semantic indexing is available only on Copilot Plus PCs, which feature NPUs from Qualcomm, AMD, and Intel.taskbar, notifications and design refinements, moving on to design and daily usability, the kind of stuff you notice every day. The taskbar has quietly become more customizable. There's now an option to show smaller icons, not to shrink the taskbar itself, but to fit more apps without clutter. Plus, there's a brand new share option right from app menus. For instance, if you're working in Notepad, you can now share a recently used file directly through Windows Share without opening File Explorer. The system tray now includes a dedicated button for Windows Studio effects, letting you access your webcam filters, background blur, and eye contact correction instantly. Battery icons got smarter too. The colors now represent states. Green means charging. Yellow means power saving mode, red means critically low battery, and white or black indicates normal operation. The notification center also got an upgrade. 
It now shows seconds on the clock, supports multiple time zones, and even works across multiple monitors. Perfect for remote workers or global teams. And yes, you can now change your time server address directly from settings, something we could only do through the control panel before. Lock screen and widgets reimagined. Your lock screen isn't just a static wallpaper anymore. It's become a live dashboard with new widget controls that let you pick and customize exactly what shows up. Want weather, news, or stock updates? You can toggle them on or off. And the best part, there's now an edit option to personalize each widget's data source. Meanwhile, the widgets board, the one you open with Windows plus W, has been redesigned to match the modern Copilot interface. The content you see now comes from trusted MSN premium publishers, curated by AI. And yes, widgets are now separated from Discover content, with a slick left-hand navigation bar to switch between boards easily. This feels faster, cleaner, and more premium, exactly what Windows needed. AI settings, agent, and smart personalization. Now, let's talk about one of the coolest additions, the AI agent inside the settings app. This is not a chatbot. It's better. It lives inside the settings search bar, and you can literally just tell it what you need in plain English. For example, say I want to control my PC with my voice, the AI. Agent instantly suggests enabling voice access and gives you a one-click apply button, or say, make my screen warmer at night, and it activates nightlight mode for you. It's fast, context-aware, and capable of executing real commands. Basically, Windows finally understands you like a smart assistant without extra software. Windows Recall and Click to Do Now. Here's where things get really next-gen. Windows Recall and Click to Do. After multiple delays and privacy concerns, Windows Recall officially launched for Copilot Plus PCs in 2025. This is the feature that gives your computer a memory. It takes snapshots of your screen. Every few seconds, all stored locally, fine, so you can search for anything you've seen or done. Before. Need that YouTube video thumbnail you were designing last week? Just ask Recall. Can't remember the name of that AI tool you checked yesterday? Ask Recall. It's your personal time machine for your digital life. Microsoft even added privacy-focused options. You can factory reset Recall, wiping all data instantly, and European users can export their snapshots to third-party apps with a secure unlock code. Then there's Click to Do. Another Copilot Plus exclusive that works hand-in-hand -hand with Recall. It lets you interact directly with what's on your screen. Highlight text? You can summarize it, copy it, or search it instantly. Click an object? You can describe it, blur it, or even send it to Copilot for analysis. It's like having mini AI utilities everywhere you click, from paint to snipping tool. Security? Accessibility and modern login windows. Hello, got a serious facelift. New icons, animations and passkey integration with apps like 1Password. You can now log in with passkeys from third-party providers directly through Windows Hello, giving you true passwordless authentication. Then we've got live captions with AI, now supporting over 40 languages, with real-time translation. It's not just accessibility anymore. It's communication across borders. Voice access also got a huge AI boost. You can now speak naturally instead of memorizing rigid commands. Say, Open settings and go to Bluetooth. And it just does it. No scripts, no syntax, just conversation. Gaming. Camera and creator updates for gamers and streamers. Microsoft has quietly added features that make a difference. The new gamepad keyboard layout lets Xbox controller users type using the controller itself. Ideal for chatting, in games, or entering quick inputs. Meanwhile, the camera app can now stream to multiple applications at once, so you can use your webcam simultaneously for Teams, OBS, and Discord. That's a small change, but a huge quality of life improvement for content creators. Bonus upgrades you may have missed. There's more, like a redesigned advanced settings page for developers. Improved file version control directly in File Explorer, Windows ML for on-device AI, and Wi-Fi 7 support for enterprise systems. Even the Windows Share experience got new tricks. You can now edit images before sharing, compress files automatically, and pin your favorite sharing apps for quicker access. All these tweaks might seem small individually, but together, 
They make Windows 11 2025 feel smoother, faster, and more intelligent than ever. Call to action. So what do you think? Is this the end of Windows 11 as we know it? Or is Microsoft quietly preparing us for Windows 12? One update at a time? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what feature impressed you the most. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to TouchTrove, and turn on notifications so you never miss the latest updates on Windows, AI, and future tech. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay curious, stay inspired, and I'll catch you in the next one.